OK, let's now take a look at moving averages. The moving average shows the average value of an instrument's price over a period of time. They used to emphasise the direction of a trend and smooth out the price fluctuations. So typically when a market moves below, its moving average is a bad sign because it means that the stock is moving on a negative trend. The opposite is true for instruments that move above their moving average. You should also remember that moving averages are most often used with other indicators, so as with all the indicators discussed in this video, it's sensible not to make any decisions based on any one indicator in isolation. We can view the moving average on different time frames, for example a 20-day or a 100-day period. But the longer the period we view the moving average over, the less sensitive the moving average will be due to the daily changes in price. Building on this, we can now move on to moving average convergence, divergence or MACDs. This indicator shows us the relationship between two moving averages of prices. The MACD is calculated by subtracting the 26-day exponential moving average, EMA, from the 12-day EMA. We can also view a 9-day EMA called the signal line, which is then plotted on top of the MACD and shows buy and sell signals. We can interpret the MACD in three ways. Crossovers, divergence and dramatic rise. Crossovers are when the MACD falls below the signal line, which indicates that it may be time to consider selling. However, when the MACD rises above the signal line, it suggests the price of the instrument is likely to rise. Many traders wait for confirmation that the MACD has moved above the signal line before entering into a position too early. Divergence is used to describe the price of the instrument moving away from the MACD. It signals the end of the current trend. The dramatic rise is when the MACD rises dramatically. That is, the shorter moving average pulls away from the longer term moving average and it's a signal that the security is overbought and will soon return to normal levels. Traders also watch for the MACD moving above or below the zero line because this signals the position of the short-term average relative to the long-term average. Another useful indicator is the Relative Strength Index, or the RSI. Now, this indicator compares the recent gains to the recent losses of an investment to try and determine overbought and oversold conditions. The RSI ranges from 0 to 100 and an instrument is deemed to be overbought once the RSI approaches the 70 level, meaning that it may be getting overvalued and it may be a good idea to consider closing out any long positions or even to take a look at a short position. On the other hand, if the RSI approaches 30, it's an indication that the instrument may be getting oversold and so is likely to become undervalued. We hope you've enjoyed the NatWest Spread Betting program. Please feel free to return to any of the previous modules. Our helpful staff are always on hand if you have any questions you'd like answered. Just give us a call. To get started, you can open an account via our website, or if you need more time, why not open a demo account, which will fund with play money to allow you to test drive your trading approach. Every day in the financial markets, there's an opportunity to make either a profit or a loss. But remember, don't be greedy. Bank your profits, cut your losses and spread your risk. Happy trading.